it's Kirsten here, and I'm with the Baby Alive Snack and Noodles baby. She is so cute. She's from a few years ago. I think a couple years ago is when they released her, and I was able to find her at TJ Maxx for $16. And I thought it would be so fun to review this baby and unbox her. So let's go ahead and get started on that with our pair of scissors. All right, here's our noodley girl outside of the box. She comes with a noodle maker, has these cute squigglies on it, and it's pink with a blue press. She comes with some yellow, I guess it's not really Play-Doh because it's not by the same company, but some yellow dough. And here is her orange bowl. It has an imprint of noodles in it, so it looks like there'll be more noodles in the bowl than there really are. Here's her yellow hairbrush. And then here's our cute baby alive. So she has a small mouth in the shape of like an O so she can take her noodles. She has black curly hair noodle, noodle. <laughs> and she talks. Yeah. She is so cute. She has green eyes and she is just really precious. I love her. Aww. So let's go ahead and start playing with her. So she has off mode, trini mode, daddy mode, and mommy mode. I'm gonna go ahead and put her on mom mode. Mommy, mommy, noodly, doodly, I love you. Oh, I love you, baby, hello. So let's start trying to make her some noodles. So I'm gonna open up this dough, put it in my hand if I can. <laughs> Come on, dough, it's still squishy, which is really good. Okay, so let's take some of our dough probably just half and mush it in the side right here and it should make some noodles for our baby. Ooh, look at those come out. Aren't they nice? They're gonna be so yummy. Okay, let's make a couple more. We'll put our dough right here. Oops. Then let me face you guys so you can see See the noodles. Mmm, aren't those so good? This is so cool. Let's go ahead and put them in. This is gonna be so yummy. Then I'll take off the rest of the noodles and do it again. I love I love playing with Play-Doh as a kid and making pretend food. Do you guys like that? I think it's so fun. So let's go ahead and put it right there again. And let's make some noodles. Mmm, or maybe they could be french fries depending on what you pretend. I think we'll pretend they're noodles. So I think that should be enough for her. This is gonna be so yummy. Okay, so I have our high chair set up. Let's go ahead and put her in so that we can eat some yummy food. Here you go, oops, here goes on the high chair. Okay, there you go. All right, here's her tray of noodles. I'll put them on her high chair tray. And now let's feed her some. Let's get them to unstick together. Here you go. Oh, whoa! That's cool. Did you guys see that? Let's try that again. I'm so glad. Here you go. Whoa, that's cool, guys. Okay, let's try again. This is why, oh, that one didn't go in. Whoa, that's cool, guys. Here you go, one another. No, it's not diaper time. Mommy, change diaper? Okay, so I found out when she's saying diaper time, just hit the button in her center. And she'll be ready to eat again. So let's feed her another noodle. She does that so well. Oh, here's your hug, baby. You're so cute. Do you want another noodle? Here. Here's a yummy noodle. Oh, she's so good at eating. Wow, that's incredible. I love you, baby girl. Wow, you could definitely pretend these are french fries, too. Want some more? Here you go. Mommy, change diaper? 
almost. You have two more noodles, silly girl. Wow, this is such a cool toy. Okay, here's your last noodle. Great job, little girl. You're so welcome. You did great eating them all. Great job. So the fun thing about the baby alive that eat Play-Doh is they don't make much of a mess in their diapers because of the mechanics inside of their mouth. You can't really feed them liquid or liquid food. So all <laughs> the food that goes into their diaper, you're able to put it back into your Play-Doh jar and play again. So it's so reusable. It's a bit weird to think about, but it's super reusable. And it doesn't make that much of a mess. So I'm gonna go change her diaper and put the Play-Doh back in the Play-Doh container and then we can do a review on this girl. All right, I am back. And actually a lot of her Play-Doh noodles didn't fall into her diaper. Actually, none of the Play-Doh noodles fell into her diaper. So to get them out of her, I had to pat on her head a lot and pull them out of her, which is a little bit gnarly. So that's something to probably consider if you are a squeamish parent or you have a squeamish child. Anywho, let's get to the review. So I have five factors when I review a doll. And the first factor is how cute is the doll? This doll is so cute. I love how noodles are curly. So they gave her curly hair. I love her hair. Her hair is adorable and she is just so cute. And I love how she's got her mouth all puckered up to eat some noodles or go in for a kiss. It is so, so cute. And just the whole noodles idea is so much fun. So for cuteness, I'm gonna have to rate her a nine. My next factor is how easy was it to get out of the box? And it was pretty easy to get it out of the box. It just needed a few snips of my scissors, probably like 10, 11, 12 snips of the scissors. So I'd have to rate it an eight. It was pretty easy to get it out of the box. My next factor is the messiness factor. So how messy was the doll? And this Baby Alive is not the messiest doll out there. I think actually the Play-Doh dolls are super not messy. As long as you don't feed them, juice, water, baby alive food that's wet. As long as you only feed them the dough, they are pretty easy to clean and just not that messy. So on the messiness, I'm gonna rate her an eight for being pretty clean. Next up is easy. So how easy is it to play with? And it is so easy to get her to eat the noodles. I was really surprised. Like the moment they're to her lips, she's already sucking them down which is so cool. I was not expecting that. It's really fun. But like I said a little bit ago, it was kind of hard to get the noodles back out once they came in. So that is a little difficult and I'm gonna rate her a seven. Now for the fun factor. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when this doll originally came into stores, I did see her, but I didn't think she would be that fun. I wasn't that interested, but now that I have her and I've tried her out, I would have to rate her an eight for fun. She is super fun and like in an unexpected way too. Like this slurping is so cute and there's just so much potential for hours of fun, clean play. So I'm gonna rate her an eight. And finally we have the Lambie score and the Lambie score is all the other scores added up and averaged together. And the noodly noodly baby alive baby has a Lambie score of eight. this doll. I can't wait to do more videos with her and she is so fun and so cute. I wish they had sold her for longer or I hope they do a re-release because this was a really neat idea. Anyways guys, thank you so so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of this doll and I know my comments are turned off for a lot of my videos so you can go ahead and head over to my Instagram account which is lambies underscore dollies and let me know there. I don't know, I know I don't post many baby alive dolls there but I'm always around, always talking if you guys need me. Anyways, thanks for watching. I have lots more videos, lots of baby live videos, baby born videos, Lava Bella videos, reborn videos, 
go check them out. Go watch him. Go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Except you can't comment, so I don't know why I said that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I love you guys. And stay safe out there, okay? You are appreciated and so loved. Bye, guys.